Hey you guys, it's Megan and today is Friday, March 13th, Friday the 13th and shit has definitely been spooky <laughs> in the world and it's hard not to address the coronavirus and I think it's on all of our minds and I don't have the answers or the like direction that I feel like we all should be feeling because I have felt so many different things over the past especially the past like three days have been really just like at a different level um everything is being canceled or postponed and around me we don't really as of yet have that many cases of the coronavirus and I know that they're getting like more tests and stuff available for people if they have symptoms and I just really hope that they can contain it, treat the people that get it and I'm just really worried for the elderly and I'm so honestly thankful that my pop-up doesn't have to worry about this because I would be so scared like if he was still in hospice and they don't want people to come visit like the elderly because they're the most at risk and it's just like scary and sad and yeah I just felt like a lot of different things like frustration and I don't know just a lot so um, I am doing a few errands this morning. I took the day off like before all of this happened um, because as you guys um, know or might know, my dad had surgery earlier this week. So he's been kind of in like self-quarantine but not like for the coronavirus. Like he just hasn't left the house um, while he's been recovering. So today I thought it would be nice to be home with him and then my mom is also staying home today, but she's working and she works for a health network. So they are, as you can imagine, like trying to figure all this out and do the best that they can for all the people in this area. And it's, it's an intense time and it's something that everyone around the world is thinking about. And I don't know really the last time that something like this truly like impacted everyone on the planet and like whether you have it or not like it's still a very small percentage of people that get it but it's just it's affecting everything like schools are closing like you guys know and when I post this things might be even more like restricted I don't know like like I said it's March 13th when I'm filming this I can only speak to what is going on currently um, but I do post these usually like a week later so hopefully things are progressing in a positive direction um, but yeah so today I decided to run out um, to do a few things obviously you guys probably imagine I got Starbucks um, I've been getting the ice caramel macchiato with extra caramel, which is like when they put it around the cup and it's amazing. The other stressful thing that I was dealing with this morning was trying to get tickets to see Lady Gaga. She is doing an extremely, extremely limited tour for the Chromatica album. I think it's like three or four stops in the US and three or four stops like, um, maybe in Europe or maybe other places around the world I can't remember but it was <laughs> so stressful like I'm already like on edge with the coronavirus and like not just not being like super myself like I just feel so stressed and like unsure and like I don't know I just feel so many things right now um and the Gaga concert I love her you guys know like super super fan of her and so I obviously wanted to try to get tickets 
I had my phone and my computer because my mom and sister both got pre-sale codes. I didn't even get like accepted for a code and I buy tons of tickets, so I don't know. I guess it truly is like random how they decide who gets the pre-sale codes. Um, but so I was trying on both my computer and my phone and I put tickets in my car on my computer and I was so excited but I had no idea how expensive the tickets were gonna be. Like they never say how much tickets are gonna be, which is so annoying. Like I usually expect to pay around $250 because now I'm only going to concerts that I like definitely wanna go to. But Lady Gaga, I try to stick around 250. But I really wanted either the pit or the floor and the pit was $550 a ticket. And I, I was literally like, as it was like loading, like my cart, cause I put three in my cart. I was taking a sip of water to try to calm my nerves. And when I saw the total, I started choking on my water and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna like not even be able to get the tickets because I'm gonna choke and we're gonna like miss our chance. So as I was freaking out, like literally my heart is like pounding just remembering it. I was like, we can't spend that much money. Like that is insane. I love Lady Gaga, but that is just beyond like comprehension. So I removed them from my cart, which was really a hard decision. I had to ask my dad. I was like, that's too much, right? Like, even though I'm paying for it and I knew it was too much, I just needed someone to like reassure me it was the right decision to let them go. But then thankfully it let me choose more tickets and my dad came over and was trying to like help me stay calm. Um, but it wasn't like loading right on my computer. So then thankfully at the same time, my phone was like, allowing me to pick tickets and so I got floor seats that are further back that were like around 300 after taxes per ticket so that was still a lot of money like not tons more than I expected to pay but I was just so in shock with how expensive other tickets were like the front of the front sections of the floor were like 400 each and then the pit like i said was over 500 and then with uh fees it would be over 600 a ticket and i was just like oh like i i can't justify that at all like i'm very happy yesterday was such a weird day of emotions because it was like a lot of bad serious stuff happening with the coronavirus but then I also got um I got a bonus like we have at work if we hit like certain sales numbers everyone gets a bonus so I got that bonus and then I got an extra bonus um from my manager and that it all like hit my bank account yesterday and I was just like oh my god like I was so happy but it was hard to be like fully happy because I'm I just feel like I'm not fully happy right now. I'm just trying to survive every day and like figure out my emotions every like hour because things are changing so rapidly. Um, but yeah, even though I got extra money, like I don't wanna just spend it right away on like, yeah, the pit would be awesome cause I could be right up close like I was in Las Vegas and the more I think about that experience, I feel like it was a once in a lifetime experience for me. I don't know if it will be, but at this point, I don't know if I could justify the cost because when I bought those pit tickets, it was like 300. And now for the pit to be like 600, essentially, I, I don't know, it just makes me sick. Like I know they need to make money and there's a really limited number of stops, but I just think that's a lot to like put on people and yeah so I didn't blow my bonus on it thankfully and I'm just thankful I even got tickets because I really after like letting go of those first tickets I was like I'm not gonna get tickets because there was already so many sold out and I was like right in there as soon as the like you know the system only lets a certain number of people in so as soon as I was let in I was like ah you know so yeah I'm just kind of weird right now I think a lot of 
people are feeling a lot of emotions and this dreary weather isn't helping but I am going to go to Target I placed an on like an online order to pick up in store and then um, my mom went to the grocery store last night and it's like the freaking apocalypse you guys like all the meat was sold out of our grocery store like there was barely any toilet paper no soap or hand sanitizer like we have stockpiles of soap um from bath and body works but my mom really likes having hand sanitizer like we always buy it like every month but we can't even buy it now like I just don't understand this because like don't people have soap like I I don't know I can't wrap my mind around it like all the um, dried pasta was sold out um, lots of stuff so eggs were all sold out so I am going to target to pick up like some non-perishable stuff that I ordered online but then I'm gonna check for like eggs um, and just see what else is sold out because yeah it's really crazy you guys like I don't think people should be buying for like the rest of their lives and like so other people can't even buy anything like I don't know it just makes me feel like really just like gross and weird so yeah I hope things settle down I think it probably will get worse before it gets better but yeah just wash your hands as I hope we all did anyway like <laughs> I don't get that I just don't get it I always wash my hands like a maniac and so I'm not really doing anything different I have like Clorox wipes I've been using more but that's pretty much it um, and not going out when like it gets more serious in your area like right now they haven't really said to not go out so I'm taking this opportunity because I think things are escalating really quickly. So I'm gonna go get that and talk to you in a bit. Completely empty. Oh my God. Dog food, kind of short supply. Look at these shelves. Empty AF. Oh my God, it's literally the apocalypse. What on earth? Running low on soup. As you guys saw at Target, it was crazy and I still can't believe how many aisles were just empty. But this is what I got and I don't know, I just thought I would stock up on some stuff I really like in case we're quarantined for a while. So we got eggs, a cherry jello, which is my favorite. I haven't had that since I was like a kid. I got vanilla jello to make um, Chrissy Teigen's banana bread maybe. I got the New England clam chowder, one of the only soups that was still in stock, and that is like my favorite, so I got that. I got my parents, their favorite K-Cups, uh, decaf and original J Duncan. My f one of my favorite snacks, snappers, dark chocolate, and sea salt um, pretzels. I got my mom these pistachios that are um, her favorite that they didn't have at um, our giant grocery store last night. Ritz, just in case. I can't be without them and I love the fresh stacks because they're just like mini packs. Bananas for the banana bread and my dad also eats bananas. And then Doritos because I just, I couldn't say no to them. Take a good look at my cute outfit because I'm changing because it's freaking hot AF outside. <laughs> you guys, it is gorgeous out. It was so dreary earlier. I feel like I got my second wind because it's like 70 degrees. I'm still wearing long sleeves, but <laughs> I'm so thankful. <laughs> Literally, I needed this. You guys are gonna be so proud of me. I went to the library. I put some on hold online. This is just like gonna be the best system ever. Whenever I am like interested in a new book or a different book, I'm gonna check the library first. Like, this is a game changer for me. So. Um, the books that I got are Pretty Girls. I have just heard so many people recommend this, so I'm very excited about that. And then I picked out this one as well, All the Light We Cannot See. I didn't realize it was the winner of the Pulitzer Prize. So this, like, I'm just very excited about both of them. And I have been listening to another audiobook um, in the same series as the 
one before that I was talking to you guys about. So this one is the Silkworm, and this is the second in the um, Cormoran Strike series. So I'm about halfway done with it, or maybe a little more. I am almost done with part nine of 16. They do it in parts of like an hour, um, but there are chapters, of course. So yeah, I am just thankful that it is warm and beautiful outside. Like. I needed this so much because honestly I have been so just like depressed and like down in the dumps and just like uneasy about everything going on and I just really am grateful that it got really nice outside and I'm going to get my mom some coffee because she has been working so hard and as I said she worked for a health network and it's a crazy time to work in the health industry so she is like working like a mad woman and so I'm gonna get her her favorite Dunkin coffee and a donut because on Fridays at Dunkin they are doing free donuts uh, during March so hopefully that kind of helps her get through the rest of the work day and then hopefully she can relax this weekend I don't know because it's probably gonna be like all hands on deck but yeah, so that is that for now. I'm just grateful and trying to see silver linings where I can. So this like little adventure, <laughs> I have only been out for like 10 minutes and it's just like revived me. So really, really needed that. Good morning, you guys. It's Saturday now and I could not believe I woke up at like exactly 9 a.m. as always on the weekend because I stayed up to like 1 a.m. I'm pretty sure. I think it was like right at 1. Finishing A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Once I hit like page 250, or maybe a little after that, I could not put this book down. Like I've been reading it throughout this week um, and I've really enjoyed it. Like I wasn't like not liking it but I wasn't so like I can't stop reading but once I hit that like last hundred pages I could not put it down and I could not go to sleep so there is so many twists and turns that happen it ended perfectly like everything was like explained which I was really happy about because this is a series um the new book is coming out later this year I believe um so I wasn't sure if they were going to leave a lot um like open-ended and a cliffhanger but they actually like thoroughly explained what happened for this case and it was shocking and I had a theory throughout the book and I was so glad to be proven wrong because I was like, ugh, I don't really want what I think is going to happen to happen because it's like just kind of been there, done that, um, but it didn't happen and I did not <laughs> see the ending coming at all and the main character, Pip, is an awesome awesome character. This is a young adult novel. She's such an amazing like high school age person and I think if I read this when I was younger I would get just as much out of it as I did reading it now when I'm 27. Um, so it's definitely like serious because it's about like a murder um, but I think high school aged kids could definitely read this and it's not like anything that they haven't read before um, or heard about before. So really, really enjoyed it. We'll definitely keep reading this series because I love, um, definitely Pip is an amazing character. I want to keep seeing what she's up to and Ravi also, I just love them. So um, yeah, great, great book. And so I'm gonna start reading one of the books I got from the library and <laughs> Our library system has completely closed. So yesterday I went at like 2.30 in the afternoon and before I went I of course made sure it was open because some stuff is closing. All of our public or all of our schools um, K through 12 have 
shut down for the next two weeks. Um, our governor like shut all schools down. Um, most colleges, I believe, are either going fully online or are like, I don't know, suspending the rest of the semester. I'm not really sure. I haven't been keeping up with that as much. Um, but the libraries being closed was like a new thing that I didn't actually know about. My mom just told me this morning and so I can't believe I got in there like before they closed and it was busy in the library like there was a lot of families and like it's hard because the a lot of schools had off yesterday just trying to figure out what to do um and honestly I don't know what we're all gonna do if stuff keeps closing and um yeah it's it's not super super widespread here where I live in Montgomery County which is like King of Prussia Plymouth meeting area which is somewhere I go a lot that like whole area is like in shutdown like all non-essential businesses were asked to close some are still open like I know the King of Prussia mall as of when I last checked is still open um but like a lot of stuff down there is closed because they have the most cases in Pennsylvania so I hope things stay contained so that doesn't have to happen here but I'm just kind of bracing myself for that to happen which like this is totally insane like I just never thought anything like this would happen in the history of the world like it just seems like a story like it doesn't even seem real that like Disney is closing like or is closed like I just I can't <laughs> wrap my mind around it's too weird to think about it literally seems like a book or like a tv show or something like it is wild so yeah I think we're gonna head out for a little bit this morning enjoy the outdoor world <laughs> because it's uncertain if things will stay open or not things are getting really real um definitely stay safe and healthy wherever you guys are and I don't know if other places are like completely shutting down or if it's just kind of like the east coast and the west coast I know Seattle was really really affected by this and places are shut down for like six weeks so it must be really hard and scary when it's that serious where you live so I'm hoping knock on wood things don't progress anymore around me or around you guys but I know we just have to take it day by day so I'm gonna do my makeup and get ready for the day I'm watching Lisa's Friday haul and I love her makeup so much so I'm doing like a similar like inspired by her and I really really want to use my California blush but I wanted to get one last shot of it while it's in its perfect form oh my god it is stunning this is the benefit California I love the packaging oh my gosh I know that gold is an overspray, so I'm going to use this today, but I have to say goodbye, so I just wanted to document the gorgeousness one last time. So I decided to just bring a folding chair out here and sit on our front step and read. I'm going to start reading All the Light We Cannot See. Um, I wanted a break from <laughs> the suspense books for a little bit. So this is what I'm going to read next. And it's just nice to be outside. Like, yeah, we ran, we went to like Dunkin' through the drive-thru <laughs> and then we picked up some applesauce at my Gigi and Grampy's house and then we just came home. Um, and then we were watching the news with the press um, conference about the coronavirus. There's like one every single day. And yeah, so I just wanted to get some fresh air and sit out here. Maybe I'll go for a walk later or something. I'm not like 
interacting with people, but I do like to be outside <laughs> when possible. So yeah, just wanted to update you guys and it's a beautiful afternoon. So very thankful about that. Hey you guys, it's Sunday now and I am waiting in the parking lot at Ulta. I didn't realize they open at 11 on Sundays. Um, so I am just waiting until they open. It's only like 10 more minutes, but there's people like standing outside waiting. So um, I don't know what that is about really. I know that the Sailor Moon collection is supposed to come to Ulta today, so it could be that. I don't really know, but um, I am here because we ordered stuff on Ulta's website last week and my mom's face powder came shattered and I want to go in store and just compare the colors because the color she usually gets they didn't have online. Maybe they have it in store. Maybe I'll have to find a similar one. But um, yeah, I'm just very aware that stores are probably going to be starting to close in our area any day now, really. Like more and more places are starting to shut down and like not here but like an hour away from us so I feel like it's truly only a matter of time um so I want to deal with this today if I can and as mentioned my mom works in the healthcare industry and she's working right now from home like today on Sunday which she never has to do but there's just a lot that needs to be communicated about this and she is the expert at um, her place of work which is really exciting that she's like on the front lines of this but also it's really stressful for her and tough because she's having to work a lot of extra hours. So yeah, I just thought I would run out this morning again we might have to go into lockdown, which honestly, like these words and stuff, like I never thought this would be reality for so many of us around the world. And it's just the way it is. So uh, yeah, more and more people are showing up. So I think there is a big drop today. Um, but yeah, I just have a few more minutes and then we'll go in and hopefully quickly do this return. So I decided when in Rome to get <laughs> the Sailor Moon stuff. I was tempted to get it online when it released and I really wanted to see it in person. And since it was like fully untouched, oh my God, this is so cool. It's like, it changes. I don't know what that's called. Oh my God, it is such a pretty spring palette. I really do love it. Oh my god, it makes me so happy. And oh my gosh, yes. So I got one for me and one for my BFF, Caitlin. She loves Sailor Moon and I know she wouldn't have bought this for herself. So I got her the palette and also I got both of us this lip set, which is so cute. It has an ultra blotted lip and an ultra glossy lip and this is the Moonlight bundle so it has bun head which is the pink and sailor moon is the gloss so they're just really really pretty colors again perfect for spring or all year round i really like color pop products so i was excited to get that and then i exchanged my mom's powder which was good um but yeah i'm gonna see if caitlin's home so i can take it to her because i'm so excited i'm reading outside again and it is glorious it's like two o'clock I think and it's just a beautiful beautiful day and I love listening to like the birds and like leaves will like tumble down the street and every so often like a kid will pass by on a bike and it is just so peaceful and just nice to be out in the fresh air because it feels like <laughs> we are just inside all the time like I pretty much only have gone out in the mornings like to one place and then I come home so it's nice to get out in the fresh air and no one really is ever outside anyway there's an airplane oh god I hope all those people can get to where they're going safely and not spread anything 
oh my gosh it is such a crazy crazy time and i am obsessed with this book i'm about 120 ish pages in and it is riveting like i just constantly think about it when i'm not reading it and um we've been watching movies at night like last night we watched um almost two of the harry potter movies like one and a half and um that was nice to watch those and it was like a lot of fun but i did kind of want to keep reading <laughs> because this book is very very captivating and my heart is already broken over things that are happening or I can see coming or think will come and I'm just very intrigued by the story so I'm enjoying this and yesterday I think I read outside for about an hour and a half so maybe I'll get to do that today I feel like I'm on vacation almost <laughs> like just sitting out here like when we go to the beach, I just sit out and read, so it makes me think of that, but yeah, trying to make the best of it um, as we can and enjoy these little moments um, in between all the frustration and sadness and anger and everything that we've been feeling lately. So we just got um, takeout from BJ's, which is... <laughs> doesn't even show it. BJ's brew house. Yeah, whatever. BJ's brew house. Um, we had a whole meal, but we just went all the way. I forgot to show you guys. But these are their desserts, the Pazookis. And I had opened this ice cream, and I was like, oh, we'll just open one ice cream at a time, and then just like share it, and then move on. But then look at these two other ones, and I was just like, wow, I got the most boring one on accident, and I had no idea these two existed. So I think this one's for the salted caramel like technically mm. and this is for the triple chocolate oh my god nice. but i took a little pieces of each one so i'm obviously gonna get some more ice cream <laughs> that was so funny i'm so in shock <laughs> all right you guys it's that time again <laughs> i feel like every time i say all right you guys you know what that means um I really, really appreciate you guys watching this vlog. I feel like it was a long one because I started on Friday and today is Sunday evening or now is Sunday evening and every day is a new <laughs> adventure these days and I'm sure we're all feeling it and like I said, I film these videos the week before I post them so I don't know what will be going on a week from today when you guys are watching this but I hope you all are staying safe being healthy um, just doing what you can to help or handle this situation it's hard to know what really to do um, but we are truly all in this together like it is just like high school musical <laughs> and it's something none of us have ever experienced before and I have went through the whole gamut of emotions just within the past few days and it's like every single feeling I have felt I think is completely valid like all of the confusion, uncertainty, like sadness, anger, frustration, a little bit of like relief sometimes um like trying to see the bright side of it where, when I can um yeah tomorrow morning the CDC is supposed to come out with some more like regulations and guidelines so I think things are going to be changing pretty rapidly so yeah it's just a weird time in history really like we are all experiencing something truly historic and we will be very glad when we are on the other side of this i know so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um i'm not gonna dwell on the coronavirus <laughs> forever but it obviously is what is going on in my everyday life and probably yours as well i'm sure yours as well um so uh i'm just sharing my experience with it and kind of documenting 
this experience for my future self so i hope you all are doing well thank you so so much for watching and take care of yourself take care of your families and i will see you guys very soon bye